Hey everybody, welcome back to The Average Artist. Today I'm going to be doing a little twist on the Draw This In Your Style challenge, which I think a lot of us have been playing around with. And if you don't know what the Draw This In Your Style challenge is, it's basically artists have been posting their art and people have been making fan art of it and yeah, that's that's it. But I thought I would do something a little different and paint some of my favourite artists' paintings. And the first one I wanted to do was Gustav Klimt's The Kiss because I absolutely adore this piece of work. It's been a huge inspiration to me in the past. What I like about it is that it has such emotion in it, such feeling. The hands are amazingly drawn. I really like that style of hand. I love the gold, of course. I love gold and all the patterns in it. I really, there's something about patterns that really resonate with me and I really like looking at patterns and seeing how the full process of the artist's mind went behind making a pattern, if that makes any sense to anybody. And just like the textile work within his pieces. I guess that just work with abstract and realism, when you look at it, you instantly get an impactful emotion. I think a lot of his works are very vivid, stunning, and they are just the complete package for me, and I don't know if you agree, maybe you do, let me know if you like his stuff. Gustav Klimt was born in Austria and was a symbolist painter. He was one of the prominent members of the Vienna Succession movement. Klimt went through a few troubles due to his artwork because a lot of his work was seen as pornographic and that polarised most of the the world to his work and I think a lot of people were put off um, and he was commissioned in the 1900s to do a few paintings for this great hall in the University of Vienna and he spent a long time on these paintings three of them that were going to be hung up and basically once he had done them he was criticized as being a pervert and the works were too outlandish for the time which is such a shame if you think about it because his work is amazing so if you ever feel down about your work just bear in mind that no one's calling you a pervert or criticizing you for just wanting to paint beautiful things. His art was heavily influenced by Japanese art and its methods so he grew up poor and then he found a lot of success with his art, obviously with the aforementioned criticisms that he received. Klimt didn't write very much about his visions or his methods but he wrote some um, postcards to a friend and kept no diary and in a rare writing called Commentary on a non-existent self-portrait he states, I have never painted a self-portrait. I am less interested in myself as a subject for painting than I am in other people, above all women. There is nothing special about me. I am a painter who paints day after day from morning to night. Whoever wants to know something about me ought to look carefully at my pictures. As an artist, I think this is a really poignant statement and I think in any medium, be it writing, artwork, making games, illustration, graphic design, we all put a little bit of ourselves into our work and I think whatever we create reflects back onto us. And it's such a shame that he felt so personally attached to his work and then was criticised for it and you can just imagine how that must have felt. In 2006, a portrait of his was purchased for about, reportedly, 135 million, surpassing Picasso's Boy of a Pipe, which had sold previously for 104 million, so was the highest reported price ever paid for a painting up to that point, which is pretty impressive considering where he came from. And I don't know about you, I think obviously that's an extortionate amount of money, but I think his work speaks a million stories and has so much energy and beauty to it that I would uh, I would like to own some of his work. <laughs> Never gonna happen but has anybody got a spare um, two million they could just lend me? I could just pop to the shops and get one. No? Okay. Um, talking about my process now, I just basically took this beautiful creation that he had made and I wanted to make it more cartoony obviously it's the draw this in your style project so I wanted to make it look very much like something I would create. I had so much fun doing this and painting with watercolours and doing mixed medium. He had no gold leaf lying around which is something that he would use often. If I had I would definitely have had a go with that but I know that's actually quite expensive so I need to save for that 135 million somehow guys. 
I used black pen at some point which was a bit of a fail because I went then went back in with watercolors and the ink kind of bled a little bit but it was quite easily saved because using so much pattern work within this piece meant that I could play around and just have fun and make mistakes and then be like you know what that's fine I'll just fix it. I used Posca pens for some certain details and I used this amazing calligrapher gold pen which I love and if you guys have seen my Harry Potter video illustration then you'll know that I am a bit addicted to this pen and it's so nice to use so obviously it needed to make a appearance in this video. Overall I had so much fun doing this piece and I definitely want to do some more works by other artists, um, old great masters as I would call them. I guess next time I might do Van Gogh or maybe somebody that people haven't really heard of so it could be a bit more interesting to talk about the artists themselves. I hope that you liked this, um, please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't and I will see you next time. I'd just like to give a shout out to all my patrons. They are Cecile, James, Lee and Steph, Megan, Tom and Tim. If you'd like a shout out at the end of my videos, then hit me up on Patreon and we can chat. Thanks for watching. <laughs>